so today I'm going to take a look at this thing. Wonder what it could be. That's right, it's a new bow. It's unboxing time. A little bit of backstory here. Uh, the good folks at Glasser Violins sent me this beautiful puppy. This is a five string electric, acoustic electric. Um, and then I made a whole video where I turned it into a chinchilla. And uh, works pretty well for that. It sounds pretty good. But uh, sometimes I have trouble getting the lower strings to really punch uh, with my regular violin bow. This is an old student bow. Works well enough. It's real wood. Um, I put some bass rosin on the black hairs and found that that gave me a little bit more dig, but I've just been looking for a solution to try and get some extra muscle so that I can produce a good sound from these, uh, these lower strings. Um, whether it's standard five string tuning or set up as a chin cello. And everybody I talked to said, Codabo Jewel, that's probably what you need. up a little bit can you see this looks like a regular bow but it's kind of shiny as I changed angles it goes from sort of almost black to sort of a teal purple bluish reddish purpley thing it's an iridescent wizard bow is what I'm gonna say so I'm gonna put this through the paces in a couple of ways first I'm gonna a B it against my other bow with regular violin strings on there well five string strings, um, because at the moment I'm recording an excerpt of something for someone on viola, so I swap the strings back to standard tension viola strings. I'm gonna try and record some things using both this bow and the other bow, and we'll see which I prefer. Then I'm going to swap over the chin cello strings and see does the jewel give me the muscle I need to use that tool. There's probably a bad pun there. Is this jewel right for my tool? Don't answer that. Okay, let's get testing. The quick and dirty test. I've got my usual microphone set up, Neumann TLM-102 and a Peluso CEMC-6. I just wanna hear what the difference is between my cheapo student bow, which frankly, I should probably put some rosin on it, and see how that fares with standard viola strings or five string, standard strings, regular strings, the Larson strings that came on the glasser, and then I will try the jewel. the jewel <laughs> shiny okay first test I don't know if I have enough rosin we'll find out okay so off the string it like I said feels a little bit heavier It's still 
still light enough that I can play on the E string, and it doesn't feel like I'm using a like a bass bow on the fiddle, which is nice. It's really like the sweet spot between the viola and the cello bow. especially useful in the low end. Chop's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go record this viola excerpt that I need to record, and then I can get to making part two of this video where I, uh, Put the chin cello strings on here, the octave strings, and we'll see how the coda bow fares for that. But for that other thing that I've got to record right now, I'm probably going to use this. Just might as well dive right in. Oh, it's so shiny. Okay, I should go record the other thing, and I'll be I'll be back. The next day. Let's let's change the strings. <laughs> So it's taken a while, but I've finally changed the strings, and the obvious test I want to do right away is how will the jewel do? I gotta get my old bow out though first. Here is my regular violin bow. Okay, so I could get out the other bow that I was using, but you get the idea with this one. Same problem as I talked about in my chinchello vlog the first time. It sounds pretty good, especially on the upper strings. It feels natural, but on the lower strings, I'm struggling. So, moment of truth. So it's still going to take a little getting used to, but this is a marked improvement. Marked, marked improvement. Also, it's beautiful and shiny. I wanted to make sure that this got in the shot. This is the AEA R84 ribbon microphone. I'm blending this lovely ribbon with the Peluso CE MC6. In general, when I'm tracking strings for studio purposes, I prefer the blend of the small diaphragm and the ribbon rather than my go-to usual TLM-102. This is kind of my all-purpose condenser that I have up for vocals and capturing whatever's in the room. This is a little more directional, it's a little rounder, it's a little warmer. So the comparison from last video, if you go back and watch the Chinchella vlog, will be slightly different. Here's a regular violin bow. It's just kind of farting out on those low notes. Here is the Coda Bow Jewel. It's really actually pulling the C string. Weirdly, the G is harder for me to get adjusted to than the C. C is kind of just pull as hard as you can. But the, the G is torn between... But it's working. And again, this is not with bass rosin, 
This is with regular violin rosin. It might be that this with bass rosin works even better, but I think it's probably just I need a little more regular violin rosin. Let's try it and find out. Thanks again to the folks at Leatherwood. This is not sponsored. They just make really good rosin, and I thought you should know. Okay, one more go with that. <laughs> with my <laughs> slightly droopy microphone there. That's a little better. Okay. still want to experiment with some bass rosin. I got my pops here. Gotta have my pops. That's gonna be the next test. What if we put some pops on here? Interesting. fantastic <laughs> money well spent overall takeaway is the code of bow jewel is an astounding bow for doing something that should be physically impossible this chinchello should not work but it does and this bow is the right tool for the job okay so if you're considering doing a chinchello setup you should probably get a code bow it's really good thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please click like and if you want to watch more videos that I'm coming out with, click the subscribe button and you can ring the bell for notifications to know when I'm making another one. Thank you, as always, to my supporters on Patreon. You make videos like this and purchases like this possible. So thank you for your support. All right, that's it for this one. See you next time. Bye. This is, this is gonna take a while. Hello, my name is Droopy Mike. Mm, I should really just tighten the stand, but it's kind of fun to be like, hey, thanks so much. All right, hey, see you later, guys. Are you sure? Okay, all right, bye.